again. Thank you for joining me here on this another episode of Vegan Police TV. My name's Cameron Blewett. I'm the the chief blogger, the commissioner of the Vegan Police, whatever you want to say or however you want to describe what it is. Uh, this episode, I am talking about veganism not being the moral baseline. So let's get on with it. Now, one thing that you will see, uh, especially when you start dealing with, uh, start looking a bit more into veganism, is that you'll see the uh, the illustrious Gary Francione turn around and uh, his followers turn around and proclaim that veganism should be the moral baseline. Now, I have a number of problems with that because uh, a, you know, it, it's it's uh, what is it, moral relevancy or something like that. Uh, just because someone's vegan, they can still be an absolute pain in the butt. They can be racist. They can be bigot. They can be whatever you can think of. Whatever negative part of humanity that you can think of, they can also be that as well as being vegan. Now, just because they're vegan doesn't mean that, oh, they're all of a sudden a good person. As we know, with uh, Francione's continual uh, run-ins with Wayne Purcell, I think, from HSUS, uh, who's it? John Mackey, I believe. Uh, apologies if it's not the right person. The uh, the he the head of uh, or the CEO of Whole Foods, uh, and look at all these other vegans that uh, Francione has a problem with, and is quick to condemn for whatever else. Though they've accepted veganism, so by Francione's standards, he should be leaving them alone because they're vegan. They've got veganism as the moral baseline. So. And and this is another thing. This is is uh, one of the uh, you know downfalls of his his whole approach to to veganism and abolition is that hey, on one hand he says veganism should be the moral baseline. Someone adopts veganism as a moral baseline, that doesn't automatically automatically make them a good person. Uh, what else is there? So how what what should you say that veganism should be then? Um, Excuse me, while I just try and get comfortable in this chair again, uh, I would be saying that you know veganism should be the starting point. It, it shouldn't be the moral baseline because then, then if it's a baseline, everything else builds up on that. Well, no, it should be uh, you know something where the person starts from, or, or something that the, the person has got that. Then hey, let's educate them about other things. I mean, using Francione as an example again. And, you know, I, I'll admit, I, I find a number of things wrong with Francione's approach to the, this whole abolitionist approach and the way that uh, he is part of the counter movement. And yet, on one hand, he says he is part of, you know, he, he will, pardon me, join in with the movement when it helps him promote himself. And yet, pardon me, uh, every other opportunity that he gets, he says he's part of the counter movement. And then what his aim is, is to to counter everything that this movement is presenting. So uh, for, from that aspect, not a big fan of his. Uh, you know, yeah, I would say that uh, uh, there was a point in time where I did say I was inspired him by him, though that was more because I wasn't aware of, uh, you know, the, the workings and the writings of uh, and teachings of people like Tom Reagan. So once I found out about that, I thought, well, okay, hey, yes, there are problems and shortfalls with, uh, Francione's whole approach and uh, I did write a blog post about the hypocrisy of his six principles I might do that in a, uh, a YouTube clip as well so I might do that one later on now uh, going back with veganism as a moral baseline what is the moral baseline now I know Isel Mazard uh, did say that what is it wilderness or nature was the moral baseline uh, that's the thing I mean is is that the moral baseline is uh, you know veganism I mean, you, you have a look at Francione talks about veganism as being non-violence and the moral baseline and blah, 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 blah. Yet have a look at the very way he speaks. The very way he speaks is violent in its nature. It's aggressive. He's ableist. He's, um, you know, he's racist to an extent. You know, his language is racist. Not saying he's racist. His language has aspects of racism to it. His language definitely has ableism to it because he throw, flies off with his thing about uh, moral schizophrenia and uh, what was it, his uh, Second Amendment thing where he calls the whole uh, idea of people wanting to exercise their, you know, their, their Second Amendment rights as being crazy uh, and, and things like that. So this is the thing is that, okay, yes, we've got veganism as a moral baseline. Then what? That makes someone a, a, a wonderful person? Well, no. 
veganism should be the, the, the starting point, is the, the, the point where this is the beginning of our education. Now, and this is the other thing too, is that people like Francione and those who follow, follow Francione think that, hey, yes, they've read the book, whether it's Rain, for, Rain, Rain Without Thunder, Eat Like You Care, or whatever other books that he's got, that, hey, they don't need to learn anymore. Well, this is wrong. You know, this should, veganism should be the first step in your continual learning. It should be the you know the first thing. Yep, you've got an understanding of vegan. You've gone vegan. Beautiful. Let's further your education by that. So this would be, uh, you know, learning about how to deal with people, how to uh, to present yourself in particular circumstances, how to, uh, you know, what was it called? Verbal judo or something like that at a point in time where you can change the, the the conversation slight little shifts in the conversation to get the person that you're talking to get them to come around to your position that's something else that people can learn uh you know learn about how to become you know a um uh someone that is more efficient in the way that they talk and i'm not going to say effective because i don't believe there's anything there is such a thing as an effective animal advocate because you, what you might be effective in talking to one person, you talk to a different person, you're no longer effective because that person may have, you, you may, not, may not have built up a rapport with that person. So therefore, how come you're effective here, yet ineffective here? So um, this is the thing for, for me, it's about being an efficient uh, an animal activist, and that is to be efficient uh, going online, promoting things online, writing things online, because people still like to write things. Uh, what else is there? Uh, yes, yeah, so moral baselines. No, don't. You know, yes, you can promote veganism as a moral baseline or I, a a a moral point. Um, though that doesn't make you know, it doesn't make it the be all and end all. Um, have a look at the, the porn stars who are vegan as well. So I mean, you know, and you know, strippers who are vegan. Um, you know, and and all these other people. So you know what. What you know? How, how do you do it? How do you promote veganism as the moral baseline? When hey, yes, I've adopted veganism. I'm, I, you know, I still abuse my domestic partner, or I still call, you know, I still use ableist or racist language. Well, you know, what do you do from that point? Um, so yes, and, and this is the thing. There's, there's there's just so many ways where the whole concept of, of veganism being the moral baseline is is wrong it's erroneous it's leading people down the garden path so to speak so anyway uh that's just my thoughts um let me know what you think below thumbs up thumbs down likes comments uh you know the drama you know the deal uh so anyway that's just my short thoughts on that uh i'll probably come out and have a bit more of a discussion about this one later on when I uh, start digging a bit more into uh, other stuff of animal advocacy and then how you can talk about veganism and present veganism to, to non-vegans. So anyway, thank you for watching. My name's Cameron Blewett. This was another episode of Vegan Police TV. And remember, don't fear the vegan police. We're here to help. Bye for now.